Hi my golden friend, let me show you a beautiful game between two aggressive players, Alirez of Rujo and Arjun Erigesi. And this game was played in World Police Championship. And uh, if you remember, Alirez got third place in that um, match on that World Championship. And Arjun was among top 20s and very close to the um, top three actually, but didn't make it. And Alirizov was tied to for the first place, but anyway, for a um, very stupid uh, tiebreak system that everybody complained, he got third place. Anyways, let's go to the game. And the game is a uh, dragon variation. Interesting thing about this uh, stockfish is uh, saying that this is inaccuracy. This is a book move. But according to a uh, stockfish, it is an inaccuracy. But... Yeah, uh, this is setup. Uh, the setup is a dragon setup against Yugoslav attack by Alireza. Alireza let d5 push, but usually, not usually, many players don't let that. They play bishop c4, and this is a feature souls in attack and prevents d5 push. Nevertheless, this has been played tons of time, even this position, and uh, online or offline has been played many times. And the idea in general for dragon is to push g4 h4 and so on break through the king structure of black but in this case a little bit the task is a little bit difficult for alireza because he doesn't have e5 pawn e5 pawn is playing very critical role in this game because prevents f the e4 pawn sorry e4 pawn plays very critical role because prevent f5 push i mean Black, of course, can push f5, imagine a pawn at e4. Black, of course, can push f5, but then you take that f5 and black's pawn structure is very weak. But anyway, he doesn't have uh, e4 pawn, so he should m maneuver pieces to be able to push g4, h4, typical plan of uh, Yugoslav attack style against the rogue. So finally, there is a push g4. Here immediately Arjun responds with f5, kicking the knight and Alirez exchanges the um, a pair of pawns and push the knight back. Now look at the position. Yes, white has an open g file, but black also has a not so bad a structure. He has two pawns, f and e pawns. They could turn to a pass pawn if white doesn't play carefully. And can if white can crack through black's defensive defense, so white brings the pieces to the open file. But as you can see, Alirza doesn't find the uh, right way to get in, and shuffles a little bit pieces around. One reason that you shuffle pieces, especially in blitz game, is just to put your opponent into thinking, also thinking their time, and yeah make a small troubles for them so that they may blunder they may make a mistake this is why alirez is shuffling and alirez doesn't find direct way to get in from the g file so but and then arjun doesn't stop uh, doesn't watch the game he actually plays aggressive he attacks the f1 with the bishop and alirez didn't take his serious goes back with the, his bishop and arjun also didn't call bluff of alireza what was the bluff of alireza alireza said that if you don't go back for example if you take my pawn which was the best move i will take your knight and then you have a very weak pawn structure and uh, certainly i will win your pawns but apparently it wasn't easy for alireza to win those uh, pawns and arjun had to play it anyways had to take the f1 anyways Anyways, he doesn't take, goes back, Alireza pins the bishop to not lose the f-pawn. And Arjun gets rid of the pin. And at this position, Alireza plays another tricky move, knight e2. These tricky moves make your opponent thinking every time. And uh, you cannot take this pawn right now. See? How tricky is this guy? Because if you take, takes your knight. Of course, you cannot take bishop because takes the rook and it's very bad for... No, black at this moment as you can see it's plus five you may say that you have a uh, this attack but it doesn't work because for example 
who cannot join the attack and many possibilities are there for white so yeah so you cannot take that bishop what can you do instead you should take the knight but then the tricky part starts white can take this rook and see this is a very long and uh energy burning variation for a blitz game and how cool Alireza finds them how quick he finds them in a blitz game and tricks his opponents and after a lot of moves you gain back the queen so Arjun was afraid of all tricks that Alireza has in his hand didn't take the f1 he did a good job not taking and just moves the rook away to get rid of all those complications so there is no rook on b7 to be taken by the queen so alirza now defends the pawn and then arjun pushes to the bishop goes back and finally brings the knight in to attack the queen retreat the queen and takes the bishop notice that this bishop is very strong for alirza because currently Black cannot take this pawn not just because the rook defends the pawn because the bishop also attacks the queen. Or cannot take the pawn because uh, no, if move the queen to attack the pawn then bishop takes this bishop. So, okay, let's go back. Let's go back. So, you know, what happens is that Arjun got much better position by winning that bishop. Now the f pawn is very weak. And Alireza had to play Alireza uh, and uh, Arjun attacks the pawn and Alireza plays knight c3. This was very difficult position. Alireza had to play queen c3. But it was difficult because Arjun could have pushed the pawn. And what could you do? You cannot take it. You will lose immediately. Okay. You will lose a knight and then rook. So instead you had to make and play this tricky move of knight takes pawn. I guess Alireza maybe didn't see it or was afraid of that because it still is very complicated. He could take your queen, you could take their queen, and then it's a complicated game to be played. But of course, uh, White is doing excellent here because finally, after this uh, bishop retreats, for example, somewhere, you take that pawn, for example, and White is doing great. But it was a tricky knight move, knight takes uh, e4. And it was an intermezzo move. It was difficult to see it in the blitz. And maybe for that reason, Alireza didn't see it and just moved the knight because he didn't want to move it when bishop takes the pawn. So, bishop takes the pawn and then uh, Alireza is uh, completely losing in this position. As you can see, it's minus 5. It's completely losing. Why? Because there are two pass pawns and how do you stop them? And Arjun simply goes behind the pawn to push it. And Alireza can't do anything. If it was me, I couldn't do anything just except to watch it. But it's Alireza, of course, and he always has some tricks. The first trick is this check. And Arjun defends check with the queen. And this was a salvation moment for Alireza because now his knight can defend the f7, f2 spot. Now Arjun cannot push this pawn because simply knight takes and you cannot take it because your queen is pinned to the king. And once you take this queen, takes back with the knight. So the tricky guy finds a way to survive. So Arjun didn't know what to do. He started to push the pawns and see what Alireza is doing. He thought that Alireza is in zigzag, but Alireza simply improves the position of pieces now f2 pawn, pawn cannot be pushed to f2 anyways at all because simply takes with the bishop and doesn't need to even take it with the knight or we can take it with anything so um, we see some maneuvers now it's again okayish because the pawn cannot be pushed it's okay for now white otherwise if it was a pass pawn it wasn't okay and arjun makes a blunder Clearly, Alireza moves the queen to move the knight next move. Arjun didn't take it serious and so that uh, considered the game aesthetic and moved the bishop back. Now knight moves and notice that before that knight couldn't go there. He moved before. 
Here, knight couldn't go there because simply takes queen. And it's end of a day. So, and no knights can go there because uh, bishop is not attacking there. Also, queen is not uh, exchanging itself with the queen of white. So, Arjun got angry and just pushed upon to make it queen. But again, there is a bishop there can take care of queen and I think Arjun missed that bishop and then now look on the pieces Alireza is up a queen for two minor pieces and two, uh, two pieces of a rook and a bishop and it still is a game to be played and um, let's go forward to see uh, to arrive to the position that we see exchange of pair of bishops okay we are here a still Alireza has to play to win it uh, he's up a uh, upper material but uh, it's very difficult in a blitz game to convert it so he finally finds a way to go through he attacks the bishop and he understands that he should push the pawns and this is what he exactly starts to do it and pushing these pawns help him to finally force the Arjun to make the last blunder now pawn in the next move is a queen Rook cannot defend it, so Arjun tries to stop the pawn from queening, but then Alireza simply gives a check and wins the rook, and Arjun resigned. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what other games from youngsters do you like to watch and discuss, and tell me, and I will try to cover it.